Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Rebecca Pryor. The body of missing Marshalltown teen Corey Brown was found earlier today. The 13-year-old had been missing since last Tuesday when police say he ran away from home. KCU 9's Erica Rankin was on the scene of where they found him this afternoon. The mayor of Marshalltown told her how the community is coming together in memory of Corey. That's tonight's top story. After a grueling four days of searching and no sign of Corey Brown, investigators finally found his body early Sunday morning in a secluded area on the west side of Marshalltown. If you're out there, please come home. We love you more than you'll ever know. A desperate plea turns to heartbreak after investigators say they found Corey Brown dead. The 13-year-old went missing last Tuesday after police say he ran away from home. It sounds like... Uh, 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 parents and, and the child had some sort of disagreement. Investigators spent days searching in dangerously low temperatures, even turning away volunteers because of conditions. The whole town was hoping for Corey to come home, turning their lights on their homes green and wrapping trees in green bows. But hope for the family has turned into condolences for the family. Mayor Joel Greer says Marshalltown has had a rough last six months, but this is something that will leave a lasting mark for a long time. Nobody died in the tornado. This is a death, so this, this hurts even worse. We, we can rebuild. We, we can fix things. Uh, there's no way to get anybody back who's died. And the school Corey attended, Miller Middle School, released a statement saying, We are saddened to learn the death of one of our students. Our thoughts and deepest condolences go out to the Brown family and those close to Corey. Police say this is still an active investigation and they're looking into all possible scenarios.